Beloved, we're gathered here today to celebrate the homegoing of John Wesley Bruchette, who entered this world on May the 19th, 1923, and who the Lord allowed to go to be in his rose garden and his mansion above on November the 29th, 2020. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away, but blessed be the name of our Lord. We brought nothing in this world, and certainly we can take nothing out of it. And we must realize that our Redeemer lives, and at the latter day, we shall be upon the earth, and I shall see God, whom I have seen for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. This, while yet a sad occasion, is yet a joyous occasion as well. Because we celebrate the life of a great human being as a wonderful man. Yes, yes. A true servant. The scripture reminds us in the 90th Psalm that the days of our lives are 70 years. And if by reason of strength they are 80 years, yet let their boast only in labor and sorrow, for soon it shall cut off and we fly away. For 97 years, an oak tree stood tall. Yeah. Yeah. And we are so grateful of an example of how an oak tree would stand for so long. Yes, sir. Not many are given that much time. But I want you to know that when we are given that much time, it is a true blessing yes, from God. Amen. Amen. And so we want to celebrate this day and give honor and glory to God for just a great man in John Wesley Bashan. Put your hands together. Let's praise God. In his name. We will ask now that as the program will move as printed, we will have the prayer by David Michael Brown. Pennsylvania Avenue Baptist and then the scripture by Pastor Bernard and Harris of the First United Methodist Church of Burberry Heights in Washington, D.C. To the family, friends, and acquaintances, John was a true disciple of Christ. Mm -hmm. At this time, prayer of comfort for the family. For Brother John is already in comfort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the arms of our Lord yes, and Lord Christ. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we come today to honor the life of Brother John Burchette in this homegrown celebration of life service. As we gather here today to celebrate the life of John, we are aware of the pain of the physical separation that we feel, but we give thanks to you for the sweet release into your arms from the life that John lived among us. Our Father, we come to give thanks to you for how full life was when John was actively with us. We come to give thanks to you for the gift of life, the gift of family, and the gift of friendship. Lord, thank you for John's gifts to us through his example of committed discipleship, his quiet demeanor, yet bold strength of faith to serve diligently as a member of the bus ministry for the kingdom's outreach ministry, his fine example of love for the law and order as he served and protected his community as a police officer. His willingness to serve in various capacities by seeing a need and graciously performing without any pump and circumstance. Yes. His warm and caring smile, which was underscored by his genuine words of support and encouragement. His authentic caring and compassion. His love for you and his bride, Wayne, yes. for over 70 years, which has stood the test of time. Lord, we ask that you would comfort us this day mm -hmm. as we come together to share the love and sweet memories of John and a life well lived until we all reach that sweet bye-bye. Mm -hmm. 
In Jesus' name we pray and say thank you.